work that we're all doing is for the trans youth, hoping that their lives will be better than ours so they could thrive more. There's a need really for these young people to, to find the so-called sense of belongingness and I think that's what they're looking for. I've observed that the, the society today have gone so far in terms of empowering the transgender youth. I believe they're more free to express themselves, although there's still problems. We have the freedom. You can dress whatever you want to dress. You're there, you exist. You can hear trans people screaming, celebrating, but up to what extent? We can't measure that. We don't have laws that protect us. My focus is just about visibility and uh, to, to show to the world that uh, we're just like any other human being. Young people actually are victims of discrimination and harassment, and most of them are out of school youth. What we're pushing through is a gender recognition law. Specifically talking about the anti-discrimination bill that's now in the House of Congress and the local anti-discrimination ordinance. What does it mean to be protected with your legal rights? And what does it mean to have your identity fully recognized for the person that you are? So we're giving all this community a tour. We're also doing a media training and power of storytelling. It, it's very important because now we're, we are uh, being given a chance to like have a representation in the media, for example. What we need is someone to really go out and tell the people of the issues of trans people. This is the first project uh, that, that uh, ADP has, which is really supported and a very formal project working with you know, human rights. I'm very thankful to, the, to HRC because of that. It's a reflection of the story from where I started in the Philippines, moving to the United States and going back to the Philippines. It, it, it's almost like this hero's journey of going back home to the community where I started. And I think it's, it perfect, perfectly reflects on the mission of HRC Global in making sure that global stories are being heard from different cultures. It shouldn't be stopped there as long as um, we live for our truth, as long as we live dignified, then we can fight for our rights. When they, when they see their lived experience, their dis, the discrimination that they experience, the, the rejection from their family, if people see that, that these are the realities that we have to deal with, hopefully that story and that nuanced storytelling will transfer into changing policies. And I think we're, we're there. I think people are learning more and more about us. And I think we need more of us.